Well, can I tell you, I'm just happy you're still. Yes. That was nerve wracking, was it not? Yes. Where did that gown come from? Did you bring that with you, or did you do no, it when you were I made here? It a, I made two pieces after your critique with me. I'll just that was pure. one of them? Yeah. I apologize. It's My okay. deepest condolences to you, because no. that was a Horrendous. hot mess. Yeah, I know. What did, you, what did you buy at Mood? What did you make? I ended up buying all these much more graphic black and whites. But you know something? I think they punch up yeah. the golds and the camels and I the browns. They punch it up. And think about your inspiration. Think about what you what you saw when you went scuba diving. Right. And how diverse the range of colors and textures and patterns was, yet it all existed under, under the sea. You can see the same thing here. My only cons consideration is how do I transition? Do I spot them in between everything, or do I just sort of go towards that palette? I don't think I'd do that. I mean, I don't think I would just show the, the um, black, white, and gray as a clump. No. No, I didn't intersperse it. Because yeah. part of what we're responding to is how it breaks this up. Exactly. If you just put it all as a clump, it doesn't do that. They're just not quite as advanced as I but know you know something? I was. Two seasons from now, you can get there. Right. You're, so. in, you're in a period of growth, as every designer is. I mean, Michael Kors is in a period of growth. Right. So you really think this is OK? Yeah, I really do. OK. Oh, this? Meaning? Oh, listen, I love these additions. OK, great. Otherwise, it's just like some big caramel soup. <laughs> All right? OK. OK, Anya. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Okay.